If you are about to go on a plane or are just curious to know how to face stressful situations, this video could change your life forever. From choosing the safest seats to avoiding the worst life-threatening situations, make sure you stay on board until the end to have more chances to survive. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are showing you 10 ways you can survive a plane crash. The Risk the last thing that you want to do is be too anxious. Whether you plan to travel soon or just can't stop thinking about how your life is going to end, the best way to survive is to be focused, and you don't want negative thoughts to keep you from thinking properly. Anxiety won't help anyone, so the first thing to do is take a deep breath and think about all the reasons why you don't have to worry. Air travel is the safest way to travel a long distance, as there are fewer accidents per miles traveled compared to other modes of transport. The odds of a plane crash are 1 in 11 million, according to an instructor at Harvard University. Traveling by car is 10 times more dangerous, and most of us don't even mind doing it every day. And even if your plane crashes, the odds are in your favor. Over 90% of passengers whose plane crashed in the United States survived, according to a U.S. government study. Even on the worst plane crash, more than half of the passengers and the crew survived. And you can be one of them if you are lucky enough and listen to our basic survival tips. If you're still too anxious, we recommend talking to your physician about how you are feeling in the hope that they will help you find a better way to feel safe on board. And even if your plane doesn't crash, you'll be happy to be able to enjoy the trip. The Safest Seats One of the first things that you want to do if you want to survive a plane crash is to book one of the safest seats. The best place to be is at the rear of the plane. The producers of the show The Crash let a plane full of dummies crash into the desert. Those sitting in front of the plane, usually reserved for first class, were ripped off. None of them would have survived, but 78% of the other passengers would have had a chance to escape. According to Popular Mechanics, you have 69% chance to survive if you are seated at the rear of the plane, 56% if you are seated over the wings, and 49% if you are sitting at the front. Moreover, you want to be sitting close to an exit. According to a University of Greenwich study, those who sat more than six rows from an exit were less likely to survive. You should also avoid sitting close to the window because people would be blocking you on your way to escape. However, if there is one reason why you shouldn't book these seats, it's because that's where the anxious people are. With one chance in 11 million to crash, sometimes it's better to think only about the view or the comfort when you book your seat. If you want to watch just one more video, the premium is the platform where you should go. Get early access to videos from The Things, The Taco, The Trendy, The Richest, and many other great channels in one place with ad-free browsing. Click this link in the description below to sign up for free to the premium and get ready to binge watch videos from your favorite channels. The Preparation there are also many things that you need to think about before your flight to have more chances to survive. First, you will want to dress comfortably. High heels are not even comfortable during a safe eight-hour flight, so imagine what it would be like if you have to survive a plane crash. They are not even allowed on the slide, and if you take them off, you could cut your feet on broken glass. Lace-up shoes are the best thing to wear. You also want to make sure to stay warm. It's better to bring more clothes than you need and keep your jacket on your lap when you are on the plane. The more clothes you wear, the less likely you are to suffer from serious injuries or burns. Wool is also preferable because it is less flammable and does not lose its insulating properties in water. When you are on board, make sure you read the safety card carefully and listen to the pre-flight safety speech. Then you can look at your surroundings and know where the closest exit is. Count the number of seats between you and the exit row to know where it is if you can't see anything after the crash. You'll have a lot of time to think about all these things before the plane takes off. Safety could become your new hobby. The seat belt. The flight attendant already told you that seat belts should be worn at all times while the seat belt sign is on. But some internet users really had time to waste and made people believe that belts are only there to aid the identification of passengers after a plane crash. The person who said that is not your friend, because it is absolutely false. Most accidents involve turbulence when the plane drops fast and the passengers get hit on the head. Most of those who were injured or even passed away did not wear a seatbelt. 
Actually, you should always wear your safety belt even when the seat belt sign is off. You never know what is going to happen, and there could be air turbulence at any time. It should also be as tight as possible to reduce the potential G-forces. Some people might think that their seatbelt will slow them down if they try to escape, but you won't even be able to know what is happening if you passed out because you hit your head. What is usually happening is that people panic and can't find the push button release on their belts because they instinctively think that it works like safety belts in a car. In a plane, you need to unbuckle them. And if you stay calm enough to focus on that, it could save your life. The position. If you read your safety card carefully, you know that you need to brace if the plane crashes. Unfortunately, some internet conspiracists tried to make people believe that the recommended position could break your neck. They claim that airlines want you to pass away as quick and painless as possible to reduce insurance costs. Do not listen to them. Listen to the person who really knows what they are talking about, the flight attendant. You need to get your torso as low as possible. Rest your head against the seat in front and place your hands on the back of your head. Hold your legs, keep your knees together, place your feet flat on the floor, and place a hand luggage under the seat in front of you to act as a cushion. This will keep your legs from breaking as they fly towards the seat structure in front of you. You can also use a pillow to protect your head and remove any object around you that could hit you during the crash. There are a lot of things to think about, but no matter what, never forget to brace and wear your seatbelt. This is how a passenger was the only survivor of a plane crash while everyone else was sleeping. The Smoke Inhalation If you survive the crash, the next thing you have to worry about is smoke inhalation. Fire and smoke are responsible for most of the passengers who don't survive the crash. 68% of them, according to the National Transportation Safety Board. It only takes a few breaths of smoke to lose consciousness, and this is the first thing you want to avoid. Find a piece of material to cover your nose and mouth, like the seat back headrest. It is better if it is wet, so you should try to cover it with water. If you can't find any other liquid, you could even use urine. This could save your life, so there is no time to think that it is disgusting. You also need to stay as low as possible to duck under the level of smoke. You might have heard people telling you to keep low on the floor to avoid the smoke, but it is not a good idea on the plane. You will only get hurt by people trying to escape the plane and things falling on you. So stay on your two feet, but keep your head down. There is no smoke without fire, so pay attention to your surroundings to know which exit is the safest. You will have less than two minutes to safely escape the plane, so you want to make sure that you stay calm and make all the right decisions. The water. One of the most terrifying things that could happen is your plane crashing in the middle of the sea. This is why we are making sure that you are ready to face this challenge. As soon as you know that you are going to be landing on the water, put your life vest on. But don't inflate it now. If you inflate it on the plane and that fills with water, you will be trapped as it will be very hard to swim back down. Instead, you should hold your breath and swim out. Only inflate the jacket when you are outside of the plane. Once you are outside, try to cling to debris. The last thing you should do is try to swim. You need to stay put to keep your energy and keep the warm envelope created by your body heat around you. If you have nothing to hold onto, float on your back with arms and legs extended. The only reason why you should swim is to reach debris that will help you float, join other people to share body heat, or swim away from a threatening environment. It could take hours for people to finally rescue you, so make sure you are prepared for one of the biggest challenges of your life. It doesn't have to be the last one. The speed. You have to escape the plane in less than two minutes to have enough time to survive. That's the time it takes for the plane to burn, and this is the main reason why people don't survive. So it is not the right moment to panic and stop moving. Stay focused and think about all the things you could do to get out of there as soon as possible. Listen to the crew and follow their instructions. Flight attendants have been trained to evacuate 600 passengers in 90 seconds, and they know how to do it. They are the ones who have the power to save your life, so you should always trust them, not only for your own good, but to protect everyone. However, if they are not there to help you, you will have to act quickly. Leave everything behind. You don't have time to bring your purse or your cell phone. Anyway, you need to be able to use both hands to go through the obstacles that are going to be in your way. The only thing that you need to think about other than yourself is your kid. Many people are surprised that they survived the crash and think that the rest of the adventure will be a piece of cake. But those who survive are the ones who know that you always have to fight to stay alive. The Rescue 
Now that you are out of the plane, don't think that everything will be easy. The first thing that you want to do is run away from the plane, at least 500 feet or 150 meters away from there. Fire and explosions can happen at any time. However, you shouldn't stay too far because you want to make sure that people will be able to find you. Rescue usually takes hours, but it won't take several months. Don't start building a new home. All you have to think about right now is surviving for a long enough time for people to find you. Pay attention to what is happening around you and try to join other people. Don't forget to stay calm. This is the best way to focus on what it takes to survive. If you are safe, you can try to help those who are in danger, as long as it doesn't require you to take too many risks. If you see two people in life-threatening situations, try to save the one who has more chances to survive. It's better to lose one person than to lose both. Stay in one place and don't go looking for help somewhere else. It might take hours for rescue to come, but they probably already know what happened and they will soon be there to help you. The plan. Now that you are a little bit anxious after learning about all the things that could happen to you, it is time to use this negative energy to make a plan. Once you know that the plane will crash, your mind will freeze and you won't be able to think about anything. This is why your plan needs to become your new instinct. Now that you know all the things that you need to do if the plane crashes, think about it once again in your mind and make sure that you remember the step-by-step -step on how to survive. Every plane is different, so you also want to look around you to know your surroundings and read the safety card once again. You could also think about all the different things that could happen and find a way to solve the problems. This will help you feel less anxious now that you know how to react no matter what happens. You could also talk with the passenger next to you about all the basic survival tips that you learned, so you will both have more chances to survive. What would you do if you were in a plane crash? Would you be a hero trying to save everyone? Would you only think about your own safety? Or would you just panic? Don't be shy to tell us what you think in the comments down below. We love to hear what you think. And that's it for 10 ways you can survive a plane crash. If you still want to stay on board, make sure you watch 10 things you should never do on an airplane. Thanks for watching and see you next time.